Call of Duty, War Zone. Call of Duty, War Zone has entered the competitive battle royale fray, with a few tricks up its sleeve to shake up the formula. Based on Modern Warfare's 2019 reboot, War Zone introduces unique battle royale elements, such as loadout kits and respawn matches, that separate it from the competition and greatly impact how the game plays. These additions are hit or miss, but the overall package is highly polished and has enough meat to attract traditional FPS fans. Fortnite Fortnite is yet another game capitalizing on the popularity of the battle royale genre, but that doesn't mean that the title is without merit. Fortnite has a lot going for it, including approachable gameplay modes, bright and zany graphics, and an excellent construction system. Iffy combat and the presence of microtransactions detract from the experience, but as Fortnite is a free-to-play game, fans of PUBG and other titles in the genre should still give it a shot. Player Unknown Battlegrounds Like many other games in the open-world survival or first-person shooter genres, the primary goal of PUBG is to be the last player alive. However, PUBG doesn't adhere to the genre norms. It takes some of the best aspects of open-world games, combines it with the mechanics of a good first-person shooter, and accommodates a player base typical of MMOs. There's also a good balance of gameplay elements. For example, you get to choose where to parachute down on the map, everyone starts without a weapon, and there's a deadly and giant shimmering blue dome that reduces the playable area every so often. It's tense and fun, but bugs dull the experience a bit. Spellbreak The free-to-play Spellbreak isn't your typical battle royale game and many of its standout features are due to its fantasy setting. In Spellbreak, you play as a battle mage wizard who totes elemental gauntlets instead of big guns. As a result, your customizable character shoots powerful fireballs, long-range ice missiles, or waves of toxic goo to take out the competition. The game doesn't rely on pinpoint shooting accuracy, so it's accessible, too.